I'm your host, Simon, presenting with Conrad Bricker and CJ Simpson. Today we're going to be talking about how the Mavericks next year's season will look. Um, so going into this, um, I just have to say that uh, Luka Doncic has been, you know, being drafted into the NBA in 2019, um, getting a lot better over time, not being the best in the league, but getting very high up. Um, I would just like to say that the Mavericks have been sort of a middle of the league team um, for a very long time. So, what do you have to say about the Mavericks next season? I feel like they're gonna play. I feel like they're gonna. I feel like they're still probably gonna make the play-in or the playoffs because it is because you you know what happened before Kyrie even made before Kyrie even Ky, the Dallas Mavericks are doing so good with. Out Kyrie, and as soon as he came in, they did really, they did really horrible. They missed the playoffs. Uh, they missed the playoffs. They went down. They were the fourth seed whenever they picked up Kyrie. At the end, at the end of the season, they were the 11th seed. They went down. They went down almost 10 rankings because of all because of Kyrie and Luca that they couldn't connect, and it was probably most because Luca was out, and. Kyrie went and Luca was on the MVP race level, and as soon as Kyrie came in, it threw him off. Like there was two scores, he was there was two main scores, and that would kind of drop Luca's lows. Yeah, that is definitely very true. It's hard when you have um, two players that have the ball that need a lot of touches on the ball, um, especially with that new rumor. Could you tell us about that? Oh yeah. Uh the Lakers uh, want to pursue, as people might have heard, uh, the Lakers would like to pursue Kyrie Irving and potentially Trey Young and maybe bring in D'Angelo Russell. Uh, I personally think that if we re-sign Kyrie, the reason I think it doesn't fit well is you know Kyrie's kind of fast, shifty, handle point guard slash shooting guard, whereas Luka, kind of that slow player, kind of like, Dirk almost he, he can hit that slow step back and it'll throw everybody off and it won't and those don't really mix together and like with Christian Wood if he gets up his defense I feel like we will get better we just need uh to maybe get back Jalen Brunson or Spencer Dinwiddie or Dorian Finney-Smith uh we need those defensive key pieces and those guards that can play at a slow place around Luka so and all I think that we sh- I think that uh, the Dallas Mavericks should kind of let uh, Kyrie walk a little bit in the free agency a little bit, see if they could re-sign him. If they re-sign him and it doesn't work out like halfway through the year, trade Kyrie, get a couple role players, and start rebuilding around Luka again. I think definitely uh, adding to your point about the. Um Spencer Dinwiddie, all those role players that play slow around Luka Doncic, that's definitely more what we need than a bunch of amazing um, dribblers that need a lot of time on the ball. Um, By the way, our call-in number is 817-676-6835. And looks like we already have a caller. That's all right. I hopped in real quick there as soon as I heard the number go out. But I was wondering... Lucas had a couple different iterations of teams around him. So he had a team where it was just him and a bunch of three-point shooters and one pick-and-roll guy. They made it to pretty close. They made it to the conference finals, I believe, or pretty close to it. Or and then also after that, they tried to add a superstar in Kyrie Irving next to Luca, and that didn't really work out. So what would your ideal player be next to Luca if you could choose anybody in the league? I feel like they should add like a, like a few role players, not like a a bunch of good role players, not like a huge name, not like a huge name, but just like some. Uh, names that like have, have been really good, but now they're like kind of role players. But they still, whenever they have that right team, they'll become that same player like like uh, years ago or maybe. And going back to you, caller, would you would you rather have it as a, kind of like a superstar or more of a role player? Uh, I think I'd rather have a. I mean, I can see a star like a but like. like my my idea would almost be like an Anthony Davis, somebody who or like or a big that could kind of defend the paint, also be a good pick and roll partner, but so you kind of protect Luca on the perimeter, but also be a dominant force in the paint. So kind of like a replacement for Christian Wood, almost. Pretty much, with, yeah, yeah. Uh, or an upgrade, yeah. I I like the idea of Anthony Davis there. Uh, I think 
if we get maybe Kyle Lowry to run the point guard and then put Luka at the shooting guard, that I feel like that might work well. Have two guys, you know, Luka's six seven dude, if he learns a little bit into the mid-range, kind of where KD thrives almost, if he learns how to get down there and maybe come up for a pick and roll with a, a great passer like Kyle Lowry, uh, that would I or like Kawhi Leonard or Paul George, uh, I feel like that might go well. Yeah, um, going back to the point on uh, bigger role players, it would sort of be like um, Nikola Jokic and uh, Jamal Murray, um, sort of a big man down low and then a point guard. That would definitely be a stronger fit for the Dallas Mavericks, and I think it would probably bring them to a higher seed in um, the playoffs. Well, that is all for today's show. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time on SportsCenter.